The moon was giant and warm in the sky, and Orion's belt blazed bright above the waterfall on Depot Street as I weighed work and play in both hands, pondering the phone call I had received earlier that night. Early in the morning, we're starved. We didn't drink or anything. We didn't even smoke pot at that time. We just hung out. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Come up. Steal a bunch of big holes. <laughs> Dad was so pissed. And I don't think he said anything to you, but he's like, Jonathan, if you come over here, bring your own bagels. <laughs> With the full right. name, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The full name, yeah. Dude, I love the idea that we kind of have our own little world. It's outside, it's out in the forts and the forest and all that. And every once in a while we have to dive back into reality where we have, to, like, you hear the call of the parents, right? Jonathan! And it, like, brings us back. Just like forever. <laughs> Did you ever roll in that big, huge thing with me? What was it? It held hay, but we flipped it up and it was like a big Ferris wheel that we walked <laughs> He definitely did. We went up all the way through the graveyard, the place where we kept our chickens. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> do you realize how nuts what we did was? Do you want to go to the farm and do it tomorrow? <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> Buddy, we're going to go do this. All right, well, let me see what I have. It's tomorrow. a smaller one. It's easier to manage. All right, but uh, when do you want to do that? Before noon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd be fun, dude. The other thing, I was down at my cabin just the other day, and the whole little stream is covered in ice. And so if you get a good tree, you can hang off of and, and dangle your legs right over the water. You give yeah. one good kick down to the ice, <laughs> big sections fall in. There's opportunity You want to try and dam it up? It's surely. We could run around and do all sorts of things. We should try and do that boy shit tomorrow. Let's do it. Wait, should I bring my sleds? <laughs> I'm so excited. Gotta do it. We're doing it. Nobody's gonna stop us. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta go. All right, I'll talk to you in the morning. Bye. Bye. In order to make this day happen, I would have to cancel a couple meetings and take a day off from editing videos, which would throw off my momentum. And after we hung up the phone, I checked the weather and saw a strong chance of rain for the following afternoon, which made taking that day off to go play outside even harder to justify. I hadn't had a full day like this with John in as long as I could remember, and so I weighed that against the potential cons and decided that this year was all about making time for the things that truly matter. And playing outside like little kids with a best friend is at the top of that list. And as a small compromise to myself, I woke before the sun to get a good gym session in, so at least I'd have that under my belt for the day. And the rain was still imminent, but the morning sky was red and alive. Hi, Fred. Hey, could I place an order for pickup? Yes, you can. What would you like? Could I have a sausage Windsor? and then a ham, egg and cheese, and a bulky. Okay, anything else? That's it. All right, I'll get them going. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Pole barn? Doesn't it look like we wouldn't be able to? I bet that thing's frozen. As it turns out, 
The hay wheel we wanted to roll in was frozen to the ground, but we could still explore all day on the old snowmobiles. We just had to temporarily fix the ski that broke on Allie's sled on our last trek to my cabin. Oh, I just forgot the food. <laughs> I feel like if I were to squish this flat, put it on the bottom, yeah, you know, like halfway, halfway, and then we could drill through this and give holding that together a little bit more. And this will slide fine. Take that apart. I mean, but like, what if you literally just? <laughs> I love your mind when it comes to things. I don't know, it just looks really unappeasing. No, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I never went and grabbed the chunks of wood. I just kept on walking up in a stone daze. Oh, hey, Jaji. <laughs> All right. Here. Little janky, folks, but sure to win. I'm using my foot when I got a hammer. <laughs> Ain't that just like you? Yeah. <laughs> Just, son of a. All right, where's our wood that we didn't grab again? Oh my goodness. You got it, man? <laughs> son of a. Yeah, dude. Nice. It like just. <laughs> We're gonna get into that board. We're gonna get into that board. <laughs> it's the most insane thing I've ever heard. <laughs> And suddenly it was a blizzard on top of Savoy Mountain. Well, wait, are we gonna, do we wanna drill through this too? Um, we can always just put it on the wood and hit it with, with one of these. Look I it. feel like if we put it in, pull it, it doesn't in. even work. I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> so, should we just fasten this first and then that'll, we'll just do that after as an extra? Because this is gonna hold it for sure. That's just to keep it. So, you say screw down and into it? I'm screwing up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Kidding me? All right. Be hard pressed to break that. Yeah, you're right. As long as you don't hit anything with that. Even very interesting. Very interesting indeed. It's gonna be very interesting to see how she runs with it. started as sleeting rain, eventually turned to snow, and it was a beautiful winter day in our forests indeed. And we saw views of our hills we never knew existed, which is something I love about snowmobiling as the trails take you places that you can't trespass in the warmer weather. And as we got back to the farm and drove past John's new dump truck, I dreamed of all the projects we'd get into once the earth came alive. And the repair lasted really well until a big ditch bopped it, and we added the metal for the second half of the day, where we would head to my cabin to break ice and start spinning ideas for the book we wanted to write together.
sounds like you don't want me to know what's growing here. Dido. 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 Wow, so much has melted. The plan was to walk the river until dark while we let the cabin warm up and then come back in and record what is basically a podcast about our childhood. Our goal is to write a book about how we grew up in the hill towns. The forts, the rivers, the characters, the fires, the games, the experiments, the adventures, and all the mischief. We want to create a physical copy as well as an audio version that we both narrate together. And it will be called Go Play Outside. These podcasts are the idea board where we'll recall all our memories in real time and start to shape the story as we go. We want to shoot them in interesting and significant locations around the hills and interview our parents and siblings along the way. I'll be posting these raw podcast videos on my Patreon if you're interested in staying up to date and watching the behind the scenes. And you can find my Patreon link on troutandcoffee.com. We've talked about this project for many years, but it can be so hard to break the ice on something new, something you've never done before. It's not going to be easy, and I'm not sure how long it will take, but all we can do is start. All I know is that we'll never regret dedicating the time to creating something like this together. And part of the magic of it is that it will encourage more days like this. absolutely killed it like you get off the bus you wouldn't walk up my driveway you ran (laughs) yeah we'd all hear the bus coming down the hill and then hear the brakes (laughs) run to the bedroom and all look out see Kyle